This is how you put your Rorke chair together. You want to find the two legs that have holes in the, in the sides up here in the top. And you want to face the, uh, uh, these brass pins down. And if you've done it right, you've got to have, you'll, you'll have two that are uh, two holes that are up. the big side of the tapered hole is facing in and two that are facing up. And you want to grab one of your stretchers, put it through the, uh, the seat. Go like that, flip it up. You take two more stretchers, put them in those holes. And then you'll take your two front legs. Actually, before you do that, you want to take your, this is your cross support. This can be tightened to adjust for any stretching that the leather might do. Uh, it should be already adjusted. And you put that down there. Take your two top legs, and again, you've got two sets of holes. You want the, uh, the higher ones, the higher holes that are with the tapered holes in to go on top. And it should have two big sides of the holes facing in. And then from here, take your last stretcher. And you can kind of rock it in, rotate it. There you go. And this uh, support, this is the front, we're up on top here. This support wants to go for, farther towards the front. In fact, as far forward as you can. That provides support for your thighs. Then carefully tilt the whole thing up. Now you want to take your back. Your back has a top and a bottom, so the top has more of these copper rivets than the bottom. So this will go like this. Take your brass bolts, push them through. And you've got you've got washers and wing nuts. Put the washer on the outside. And these can be tightened up as if it ever gets loose a little bit. You know, sometimes this will tilt back like that. You can just tilt it back up, tighten it. And the last thing to do is to put your arm stretchers on. These hold the chair together four and a half. And uh, these will be very tight at first. And the more you use it, it'll loosen up a little bit, but it shouldn't loosen up too much. So you just push that over this pin and pull until it's seated in the hole. And you also want to make sure that this part of the uh, seat has got enough clearance for the arm stretcher and to fit down here. See that? And then you want to pull it tight, put the front on. This seat, because of the tapered joinery, as soon as you sit in it, it'll get tighter. So the more weight you put in it, the stronger it gets. And also, uh, because of the uh, geometry, if uh, you just throw this down on uneven ground, even if this end is up, this will sit flush and it won't rock on you. That's it for now.